And Jim, real quick, I mean, the jurors that have been dismissed, um, do, were there any, did you have any sign of hesitation that maybe the juror shouldn't have been dismissed and yet he or she was? No, you know, from what I heard, it really wasn't a surprise when the jurors were d dismissed because the, each of those individuals indicated in some way that they'd have trouble setting aside their opinion. So they didn't feel comfortable uh, in, in this trial. But I agree absolutely with Gigi that to have this number of jurors in the first week, seven, all of whom, you know, they, they heard about this event, they watched the video, and have some opinions, and yet they were able to say that they could set those opinions aside and decide the trial fairly. So uh, I'm impressed with the folks from in Minneapolis. I mean, we have a diverse jury uh, so far. I mean, it might be predominantly white in that you've got four uh, Caucasians, but on the other hand, you do have diversity of, of thought and um, I, I am very much looking forward to this trial, and I think it's going to be fairly decided based on the makeup of the jury so far. All right, so let's jump back in. More questioning is about to uh, unfold in the Derek Chauvin trial. Let's see where it's going.